Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session will be on uh, plane strain example. And uh, if you see our last video on 2D continuum elements, where uh, we explain what is a plane stress, plane strain, and axis symmetry element. Uh, today we are going to do an exercise on a plane strain element and right now on my screen what you see is a, almost like a, a big pipe 3 meter long and then around uh, 3 feet OD. So that type of problem we are going to do. So if you see this is a problem, a long pipe uh, which is keep in an environment where from the room temperature the temperature goes to some 73 degrees C and then how to approach this type of problem and convert into a plane strain problem that will be the session so I'll just uh, for for just for uh, last uh, video I'll just go to summary so last time what we seen is a 2d continuum share element these are actually a solid element but uh, there are a way where you can convert this uh, 3d problem into two dimensional problem like if you have thin structure where you know the out of plane uh, stress in this type of uh, plane stress element will be zero so if you know the structure where the problem where actually the stress in third direction zero you can use a plane stress element similarly plane strain element is like a large structured very thick structured and then you know the, the strain in the third direction is zero then you can use the plane strain element and then axis symmetry where actually uh, any structure which have this uh, uh, axis symmetry geometry with axis symmetry loading so circular uh, section so uh, guys so today uh, today's exercise whole exercise is uh, uh, take an example for a plane strain problem how this large problem bigger problem you can convert into a smaller version of problem and still get an accurate reasonable also so for the the plane strain example we are taking a long oil pipe so if you see some, some somewhere in the Middle East or desert what you see uh, the long pipes now uh, now these pipes are the majorly used is a carbon steel pipe where actually they used to transfer the oil and there are a lot of uh, other fluid which get transferred through this pipe now what particular example we are taking we are not constructing the long pipe where they have a flange joint or anything so before really making this complete uh, pipeline most of this raw material pipes comes and they they uh, they are lying on a desert so the problem which we are going to take, uh, going to do is a three meter pipe, which is which is in a desert under the sun, and uh, there is no constraint. And then, because of a temperature variation, there will be a changes in the pipe because there is a thermal expansion of pipe, so pipe will readily expand. And then, since uh, since along the lane there is no no constraint, so it is free to move along the lane direction. So strain in third direction will be negligible or zero. Now this is a problem uh, we can convert into a plane strain problem and uh, because you know the third direction the strain will be zero so you can easily convert into a plane strain problem so that's what actually we are going to do so now we'll convert this into a 3d problem into 2d so we'll just just model a cross section and in this cross section we'll give this temperature so uh, it's just lying and then the sun comes because of conduction convection the temperature goes up in pipe around 73 so how what is the dimensional changes so we required basic model property Young's models and Poisson's ratio also we required coefficient of thermal expansion which is like a 16.6 e power 0 06 for a carbon steel at a room temperature you uh, ideally required a thermal co coefficient of th thermal expansion for different temperature but we don't have that series so we are going to use only one uh, typical SI units which we are going to use is a ton uh, millimeter Newton and second and uh, the pipe is 12.7 millimeter thick OD is 609.6 millimeter ID is a 584.2 you you guys might be considering why this odd dimension this is a typical dimension of a uh, oil pipeline and you can get a lot of this data available on net when you do googling and then temperature from 23 it go to the 73 degrees Celsius so approach we are going to do will quickly generate a ge geometry of pipe material data uh, carbon steel not SS it's a typo is a CS thickness will make instant meshing BC 
uh, step parameter and then post processing now idea behind this problem is how you can convert now the bigger 3 meter instead of getting to a hex mesh bringing lot of element and doing this you convert this problem into simple 2d problem still it is a 3d problem but you convert it into 2d problem now guys one more thing we can do we can just model this sector we can give x symmetry y symmetry here and we can now this bigger also 2d problem you can convert into one quarter model and get accurate answer so that is the whole idea when we explain a 2d continuum element which is actually 3d element plane stress plane strain or axis symmetry where we can use this and convert bigger problem into smaller problem and get more reasonable accurate answer now we'll just start with this uh, I'll just I'll just say I'll just select a directory here I'll just set directory here so I set a directory now I'll say 2d section I'll select oil pipe deformable shell approximation size 2000 I'll create one center 0 comma 0 so the center is created now I'll just create a circle so I'll select a center point and then using uh, the pickup point of uh, perimeter point for circle XY I don't have so I'll just enter the XY so half of 609.3 is like 304.8 comma 0 so I add a first circle similarly I'll sir create a second circle which will be uh, like a uh, 292.1 so I just created the two that's it and then I have plain cross section now I have to cut it I have to just have a quarter one so that is good enough if I give x symmetry and y symmetry that's how I can just solve the uh, convert this problem on also on smaller level and we can uh, get reasonable answer so so I'll just uh, here you see XYZ created datum plane Bef below there there is a create datum plane offset so I want to create a two datum plane one will be YZ at zero zero level so I can cut it here I want XZ which is also I want at 0 0 so I can cut there and then I'll say create a partition I'll say create one minute we'll just set create a partition <coughs> face using datum plane so I'll select first distance and datum plane here and then I'll say done so it just cut it there then I'll say use the datum plane this one one minute I have to cut it face datum plane select a face so it's asking so I'm selecting this and this so if you put shift press shift then you can select both so I done that and then I select this datum plane and then say now guys we almost done that so now I, I don't require this face so I'll delete it so there is a delete option I'll delete this, I'll delete this, I'll delete this and then I can model this now this is a more than enough for me I'll just create a material data which will be carbon steel to 10 e power 0 3.3 3. then we'll give expansion which will be like 16.6 .6 e power minus 0 6 at room temperature so this is like a millimeter by millimeter per degree Kelvin so if per degree change in Kelvin there is like a 16.6 .6 e power 0 thermal expansion so because of change in temperature every degree that is a thermal expansion now I'll quickly create a section I'll say plane strain homogenize 
you can click here also so it will just take a thickness so you created that now you need to assign this so I'll just assign this section to this geometry so you've done that now you're done everything now I'll just quickly go back to our presentation just to clarify we create a geometry we create metal ultra thickness we assign that now we'll create instance then we'll go to assembly we'll create an instant okay you created an instance now we'll just go to meshing part now meshing you have to don't do we don't have to do in assembly level you have to do at a part level you select something like a three which will create good mesh around at least you'll see across thickness around four element we'll see so this is a good mesh now we'll just now the very important step guys now abacus by default if you take like plane stress plane uh, plane strain element it take plane stress so most of time go here as an element check go and convert into plane strain so once you convert into plane strain it will be cpe4 so it's a plane strain element you are done now we'll create couple of set we want to have this y symmetry and this expression symmetry also we required all nodes in one bucket to define boundary condition initial temperature and final temperature so we'll go to the set we'll create a geometry called a x sim so i can just select this this edge done so this is done and i'll select y sim done i'll create all node So you select all nodes so you've done that now we'll quickly create a step so we'll create plane strain thermomechanical static general NL jump on it's a large deformation problem initial will start with 0 0.01 we can say plane strain example so you've done that now we'll create a boundary condition now we'll create a first initial boundary condition x symmetry you select a symmetry and then you select a set of x symmetry and you put a x symmetry now it's a x symmetry u1 equal to ur2 it's a y and z rotation also zero but it uh, this particular plane strain element have only two degree of freedom x and y uh, translation so it will u1 will be zero here so we are done that now we'll quickly create a y symmetry put y symmetry so you are done a y symmetry now we will go to predefined field where we can define initial condition and final temp uh, condition so initial will define initial temperature and then we will say 23 degree C and we'll create a final final it will be like a 73 so almost difference of 50 degrees Celsius is there now we've done everything 
we have put a boundary condition we give initial and final temperature we are given a plane strain now we will create a job we will say plane strain there are spelling mistakes plane strain example I'll just quickly do a data check if there is anything issue with pre-processes related we can quickly check it and that's reason we want to ch do a data check so quickly once we have data check then we can submit for a run data check is completed so there is no issue with uh, pre-processor related so we'll just submit a final run and then we'll just wait for a result so now job is completed so we can quickly go and check results so now this is actually guys I had done but I'll just show you how you will see results so when when you see uh, you'll be seeing like this so you'll just see a, a quarter section and then uh, you can see check something like a displacement first so this is how exactly you look so you see there is a radial displacement of this pipe now what you do uh, whenever you present this result don't don't present this with a quarter one because then people will not appreciate it they'll think oh this is just a simple problem but they'll not understand how uh, the you use your mind and theory with abacus how you convert this 3d problem to 2d so for presentation you go to this ODV display option uh, you first do this mirror pattern so X Y Y Z so you apply it so you'll get a full pattern then you go to swap or extrude that extrude this for a 3000 depth so you'll get a 3d pipe here so now you'll see a 3d pipe So you'll see 3D pipe and then, then we'll just quickly go to the results just to understand what is it. So the inner uh, inner diameter uh, you see the resultant displacement will be like a 0.315 millimeter and then outer diameter will be like a 0.329. So around 0.3 millimeter it will be outerly displaced. Now we'll also check how much is a pre-stress generated because of this so if I check one mice stress it is almost like a 174 MPA the one mice stress uh, built up in uh, this particular example now this is then example how you check how much is a pre-stress generated now this is the way guys you can convert lot of lot of bigger problem into smaller level problem and that's where you can use this plane stress, plane strain, axis material. You know, this example was on a plane stress. So thanks a lot for watching this, guys. Uh, 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 Abacus Acumen will be making a lot of videos like this. Um, this will be a building up video. And uh, guys, your help is required to take this project forward. This is non-profit project. Don't forget to like us and subscribe us. Thank you. Bye bye.